It is no coincidence that people often say China lives in a world of its own. Just recently, China hosted the world's first half marathon featuring both robots and humans. During the half marathon in Beijing, 21 humanoid robots ran side by side with human participants. This time, the robot winner named Tiangong Ultra completed the 21 kilometer distance in two hours and 40 minutes, more than twice as slow as the fastest human. The other robots were even less successful. Although robots have appeared at marathons before, this was the first time they competed against humans over such a long distance. The course included uphill sections, turns, and uneven surfaces. Some robots managed to finish the race, while others struggled right from the start. One robot fell at the starting line and lay there for several minutes before getting back up and continuing the race. Another one ran a few meters and crashed into a barrier, causing its human operator to fall. All of the robots were made in China by various companies. They came in all shapes and sizes. Some were shorter than 120 centimeters, while others stood as tall as 180 centimeters. One company proudly claimed that its robot looked almost like a real woman and could wink and smile. Several robots ran wearing sneakers, one was wearing boxing gloves, and another wore a red headband with the Chinese characters meaning destined to win. The companies tested their robots for several weeks before the race, and at the competition, the mechanical runners arrived accompanied by their human trainers. Given the need for engineering and navigation teams, the event resembled a car race. The winning robot Tiangong Ultra is a creation of the Beijing Humanoid Robotics Innovation Center. It completed the distance in 2 hours and 40 minutes, while the fastest human finished in 1 hour and 2 minutes. This innovation center is 43% owned by the state, with the remaining shares equally divided between the technology giant Xiaomi and China's leading humanoid robot manufacturer UB Tech. The French have also joined the race to create multifunctional industrial robotic machines. The company Neo Robotics has introduced its new robot named Aru, a universal assistant designed for inspection and technical maintenance tasks in challenging industrial environments. Aru is a modular robot with a unique polymorphic design, combining features of a snake-like robot, a rover, and a quadruped mechanism. The robot is capable of moving across uneven surfaces, crawling, climbing stairs, overcoming obstacles and even changing the shape of its body depending on the task. The robot can independently plot a route, detect malfunctions in pipelines, inspect the condition of equipment, and even collect samples. Aru operates both in fully autonomous and semi-automatic modes, with the option of remote control through a secure interface. At the Chinese SAIC GM factory, Humanoid robots named Kepler have begun working, replacing humans in yet another important segment of industrial production. The robots are actively involved in the car assembly process, performing tasks such as handling parts, assembling components, and interacting with human workers. Thanks to their high precision and flexibility, they significantly improve production efficiency, enhance assembly quality and reduce labor costs. The Kepler 4Runner K2 is a fifth-generation humanoid robot with 52 degrees of freedom which allows it to perform complex movements and manipulations with high accuracy. Each of the robot's arms is equipped with 11 degrees of freedom and can lift loads of up to 15 kilograms, while the fingertips are fitted with tactile sensors featuring 96 contact points. For autonomous task execution, the Kepler 4Runner K2 is equipped with the intelligent Nebula AI system, which is responsible for object recognition, spatial orientation, and obstacle avoidance. For the first time, a humanoid robot stepped onto the stage of the legendary show TED, a robot already being called the future household assistant for millions, and its name is Neo. It is not just a machine, it is a butler robot, designed to live side by side with humans. Smart, polite, adaptive, and eerily realistic. It was introduced to the public by Norwegian engineer and founder of the company 1X, Bernt Bornick, and instantly captured the attention of the entire tech industry. Neo is not being trained to work in factories, it is learning to live in our homes, setting the table, cleaning rooms, watering plants and even holding conversations. Its movements are inspired by human anatomy, and its behavior is the result of machine learning in real-world environments, among people. That is why the developers call it not just a bot, but a true butler in training. This very presentation could mark the beginning of a new era, where humans and robots will not be competitors, but partners.
The Shenzhen-based company AI Robotics has introduced its next-generation humanoid robot named AlphaBot 2. The robot features a unique design with a movable waist and legs, allowing it to adjust its working height from 0 to 2.4 meters. Thanks to its precise force feedback system, the robot is capable of performing tasks that require both strength and delicacy. It can adapt to various environments and carry out a wide range of tasks, from preparing traditional Chinese writing instruments to interacting with users through facial expression recognition. In the future, Alphabot 2 will be used in industrial sorting, inspection and assembly, as well as for household tasks such as elderly care and assistance with domestic chores. AI Robotics plans to scale up production, aiming to release 10,000 units of the robot by the year 2028. Chinese engineers never cease to amaze. Recently, the company Fourier Intelligence introduced its new humanoid robot called N1. This robot is standing 1 meter 30 centimeters tall and weighing 38 kilograms, and was developed with a focus on openness and accessibility. N1 is built on a lightweight aluminum and plastic frame, is capable of operating for more than two hours without recharging, and can reach speeds of up to 3.5 meters per second. Even now, the N1 is demonstrating impressive abilities. The robot is able to walk confidently, maneuver through space, stand up after falling and maintain balance when exposed to external forces. Thanks to its powerful control system and visual information processing, it can recognize objects, navigate its surroundings, and interact with both items and people. The engineers also demonstrated how N1 can play football, coordinating its leg and body movements, tracking the ball and making decisions in real time. In this footage, you are seeing the very first steps of one of the most unusual robots named Cosmo. It is not just an experimental platform, it is a robot with character, with inertia, with a future on the silver screen. This very robot has already taken part in the filming of the feature movie The Electric State, where it became part of a futuristic world balancing between reality and fiction. Cosmo went through early trials, fine-tuning its balance and learning to walk across surfaces where ordinary robots would give up. Its gait is not clumsy, but eerily natural. And although it cannot yet speak or carry trays, prototypes like this are becoming the foundation for the robots of the future, the ones that will be used in movies, on battlefields, in rescue missions, and even in space. Interestingly, Cosmo did not just appear on camera. In a film where reality and technology merged into a single picture, Cosmo became a full part of the script. Its movements were not animated, they were real. On the set, it interacted with live actors, walked through the scenery, and everything you will see in scenes featuring it was not created in a computer, but captured on camera. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video you liked the most. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.